Dystopia is a subgenre of fiction that demonstrates a society in decline, with its attendant dehumanization, total control, and social inequality. Usually, dystopia serves as a technique by which the authors try to warn humanity to draw attention to the problems of the real world. In this collection, we have collected the games that do the best at this task. Beholder And in this dystopian game, the gamer will have to take the side of the same totalitarian government that breaks into the privacy of its citizens. The main character, the manager of an apartment building, must follow the tenants and report where to go if he finds signs of illegal behavior, criticism of the authorities, the presence of prohibited literature, etc. At the same time, he can act in the opposite way, to shelter dissidents, to help revolutionaries, but it is worth remembering that there is also someone to look after the spies. Bioshock is perhaps the most prominent example of a dystopian game. Not surprisingly, the authors were inspired by Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged, one of the most famous works in the genre. In the first part of Bioshock, the player gets acquainted with the underwater city of Rapture, a place that was supposed to become a haven for the best people on Earth, a utopia that would give an impetus to civilization. However, everything went wrong, and the ideal society fell under the weight of its own ambitions and vices. The sequel sheds more light on the fate of Rapture, and the third part of the series, Bioshock, Infinite, shows Columbia soaring in the sky, but no less decadent, as practice has shown, even being closer to the sun, people are unable to escape their base nature. In Half-Life 2, humanity fell through no fault of its own. Who knew that experiments with teleportation technology would open a portal to an alien planet, from where invaders would invade our world? The forces turned out to be unequal. As a result of the Seven Hour War, the Earth was under the occupation of the Alliance Interstellar Empire. The regime that has reigned on the planet has all the signs of a dystopia. Totalitarian surveillance of all citizens, massive propaganda, a clear social hierarchy, stratification of society. It seems that the population of the Earth is doomed, and there is nowhere to be saved, except for a small handful of rebels. Whether this story will end with a happy ending? Alas, only Valve knows, which froze the series after the second episode of Half-Life 2. Deus Ex Cyberpunk always goes somewhere near dystopia, like post-apocalypse. Therefore, the games in the Deus Ex series, in our opinion, are more than worthy of being on this list. Moreover, all the signs of the genre are evident. The gradual decline of society, technology in the service of corporations, total control over society, the substitution of concepts and manipulation of people in the media, catastrophic inequality between social classes. The authors of the Deus Ex games demonstrate dystopia both through the plot and through the environment. The history of the world, as is customary for the direction of immersive sim, is hidden in the little things, graffiti on the wall, news broadcast, a sidelong glance thrown by a normal citizen at an augmented person. It is enough to look around carefully to understand that this world is striving for destruction. Mirror's Edge The city, which is the scene of the Mirror's Edge, is ideal at first glance. Clean streets, beautiful buildings, almost complete absence of crime. However, it is worth digging a little deeper, and the ins and outs of it are revealed. Tracking citizens, total control over the media, ruthless suppression of any speeches and protests. Some do not want to put up with this state of affairs, and among them is the main character, a girl named Faith. Her hatred of the ruling regime is reinforced by tragic events. Many years ago, Faith's parents were killed during one of the protests. The girl does not have supernatural abilities and skills in handling weapons, but she possesses Parker techniques, which will help her in the fight against an oppressive government. We Happy Few A roguelike survival simulator in which it is vital to smile, otherwise, trouble is inevitable. The game takes place in Wellington Wells, whose residents are forced to take a special drug called Radistin. It erases all bad memories and makes people happy, not without other signs of the genre. Total control over citizens, the local Ministry of Truth, which does not allow unhappy news to go to newspapers, and so on. The protagonist of We Happy Few, who has given up the drug, 
is forced to hide his realistic view of the world from the townspeople who are in captivity of illusions. After all, Radistin does not make the world beautiful. It masks its imperfection. The protagonist, and with him and the player, will have to make sure of this, trying to get out of Wellington Wells. Papers, please. A small indie dystopian game set in a single location, a border checkpoint. Every day, hundreds of people come to the hero who want to cross the border, and each of them must be carefully, and most importantly, quickly, checked. A seemingly harmless old woman can carry contraband weapons, and a stern hulk can turn out to be an ordinary traveler who returns home. Papers, please takes only a few megabytes and contains at its core primitive gameplay. But at the same time, the game amazes with its immersiveness, meticulous attention to detail, and a thick atmosphere of decline and despair that envelop the post-war country. One of the best games in the Final Fantasy series, according to many. The game immerses gamers in a world where injustice has become commonplace. An energy meta-corporation, hiding behind its own army, literally depletes the planet, extracting valuable energy, and those who cannot secure access to the energy flow are forced to vegetate in the slums, respectively, have less rights and opportunities than privileged members of society. The main characters do not agree with the current situation, in fact, eco-terrorists fighting to preserve their home planet. Final Fantasy VII not only tells a heartbreaking story, but also demonstrates what can become of the world if its inhabitants lose their sense of proportion in the consumption of resources. Dishonored presents a world that is simultaneously in the process of development and decline. Industrial progress here coexists with a decline in morals and terrible epidemics. Aristocrats have fun in their palaces, while ordinary people die from the plague in the neighboring streets. In this world, players will play the role of Corvo Atano, the Empress's bodyguard, falsely accused of killing her. The hero must find and punish the traitors who staged the coup, and the further fate of the city depends on his actions, whether he will return to prosperity or perish in chaos. No less interesting is the sequel to the game, where the adventures of the protagonist and his daughter continue. Remember Me, an adventure game from Dotnot Entertainment that tells about a seemingly utopian world in which it became possible to share memories. People happily give up personal freedom in exchange for safety and access to advanced technology, not knowing or not wanting to know the consequences. The main character, a former memory hunter and now a wanted terrorist, will have to uncover a criminal conspiracy of the government elite open the eyes of the citizens of New Paris to the truth and give rise to a new, more just world. DMC. Devil May Cry. Usually slashers do not raise serious topics, but in the case of DMC, Devil May Cry, everything is different. The game from the British Ninja Theory shows an alternative reality where demons brainwash people through the media and thus control humanity only young Dante, with the support of his brother Virgil and the girl Medium Cat, is able to save the world. Fans of the series criticize the game, but apart from the lineup authored by Capcom, it deserves attention. Inside, a gloomy and uncomfortable platformer from the Plated Studio, dedicated to the adventures of a boy who is forced to survive in a hostile environment, moving towards a goal known only to him. Inside surprises, sometimes shocking, but definitely does not leave the player indifferent. The advantage of the game, and its disadvantage, is the plot, which does not give an unambiguous interpretation and is interpreted by each player in its own way. Do not feed the monkeys. An unusual game in which you become a participant in a program for observing experimental people, the so-called monkeys. Each of them lives his usual life and is not even aware of your presence. You can indifferently observe the wards and collect information about them or begin to interfere with their activities, which will lead to unforeseen consequences. Do Not Feed the Monkeys is intimidating by the simplicity and routine of intrusion into privacy, but also causes an irresistible urge to feed the monkeys. Will you be able to resist the temptation? State of Mind 
a futuristic thriller that, like Deus Ex and Bioshock, explores the themes of the stratification of human society, class inequality, the inappropriateness of the dark physical world, and the deliberately ideal virtual world. In terms of gameplay, this is an interactive movie in which you have to explore the world, make choices, and observe the consequences to which they will lead. Good entertainment for a couple of evenings with an interesting plot and raising difficult questions. Liberated An adventure game with an unusual visual style. The events unfold as if on the pages of a comic book, where you are the main character. You have to get used to the role of a rebel who rebelled against reality, which is completely controlled by a totalitarian state. You will explore locations, fight opponents, solve puzzles, and, by your actions, bring closer the liberation of society from the soulless machine of state control. Cyberpunk 2077 As mentioned above, Cyberpunk always walks hand-in-hand hand with dystopia. So Cyberpunk 2077 will present this setting in all its ikiness. Social stratification, where there are boisterous billionaires and barely surviving slum dwellers, escape from reality to the virtual world, augmentation, buying and selling everything, including people. In this dark reality, the main character will have to fight corporations, solve, not gratuitously, of course, the problems of the residents of Night City, and also search for a device that allows him to gain immortality. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.